Colin's here now with our Monday back to work forecast and yeah. it's, it's warming up hot. out there, Colin. Yeah, welcome back everybody. Hopefully you had a good weekend. It was pretty nice. It wasn't that hot and now we're going to start to crank it up for the first test. Little taste of summer coming your way. 90s area wide. Take a look first live in Delano where the sun is beaming down and it's hot out there. 86 degrees for this time of year is above average and our winds are northeast at around six miles per hour. What have we got here for you? Not much. Marine layer well offshore, great in the south land and to the east. We have an area of low pressure moving around. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Huge low here. That's going to make the weather unsettled in the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia. But the state here, boy, we look good. Temperatures just cooking no matter where you are. And we will easily see the mid-90s starting tomorrow in some spots. And Wednesday, area-wide. Thursday, Friday, a little cooler. This low right here, you can see it because it's firing up all that moisture to the east and causing problems in Texas. We'll show that to you in just a second as well. This low is going to move south, and as it does, winds from the northeast will start moving on through. Here's the wind pattern, the arrows where the wind is coming from, right, yellow. Tonight, northwesterly still, but as the time ticks toward tomorrow morning on Tuesday, the winds shift northeasterly. You can see that easily, and that wind pattern will continue. On the valley floor, not as strong as it will be in the mountains and foothills, but it'll still be strong with that northeast wind blowing around the low as it moves to the east. Here is Austin, Texas, and San Antonio, and Dallas, and the weather here is rock and roll. They've got tornado warnings on going throughout this evening, and three to four or five inches of rainfall is expected there too, not for us. 88 was our high today. Above average, 81 is the average, and pretty soon we'll be 10 to 15 degrees above average starting tomorrow. Wednesday and maybe even on Thursday. Slight cooling for the weekend, but overall, this is the time of year where I think we're going to say goodbye to those rainfall chances, right? We start to heat up in May, and you know that 100 is within reach by the time we get to the end of the May. We'll have to wait and see if that happens. 73 in Los Angeles today was their high, but Fresno, for a change, warmer than we were, as was Sacramento. So the high pressure ridge is. Uh, position mainly to the north, but that'll start to spread our way too. 72 for Fraser Park and 86 in Porterville, 83 at Lake Isabella, and we even had 92 in Paso Robles. So you know the high is building in from the west. 87 now, winds are northwest at seven miles per hour. It's a very pleasant night, and temperatures look pretty mild in the deserts, right? Not that hot yet. 88 in Ridgecrest. It'll be 90 there tomorrow. 72 in Tehachapi as we speak. 17 mile per hour winds there. Wind still blowing out of the northwest, and again, tonight they'll turn northeasterly and especially into tomorrow morning. Here are the numbers with a lot of sunshine. 73 in San Francisco and 92 again in Fresno. 82 Yosemite, upper 60s for Pismo, Santa Barbara around 74. To the south we go, Disneyland, mid-80s. It'll be hot there too if you're standing in line this time of year. 99 in Palm Springs, 68 in San Diego. For our area, we'll be into the upper 80s and low 90s, and it'll start to really cook once we get to Wednesday and beyond. 90 for Lake Isabella, 88 Kernville, northeast winds there, 20 to 30 miles per hour and gusty. And as we get toward the deserts, the winds will be gusty as well out of the northeast. And temperatures, 93 Ridgecrest, 93 California City, 60, clear and mild tonight. And that morning low, by the way, doesn't happen until about 6 a.m., so you know you'll have a warm evening and a warm overnight period, too. 92 tomorrow, sunny and hot for this time of year. Northeast winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour on the valley floor. And for the first time this season, you knew it was coming. Unhealthy for sensitive group air quality. The number is 104, and that's only going to get worse as we get toward midweek. So it's a hot couple of days, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then this coming weekend, Moderate cooling into the 90 degree range, we think, by Sunday. But again, again, the computer models could change the direction of that, and we'll have to wait and see. But overall, hmm. this week's going to be a tester, especially for the kids at school out at recess. I was noticing yes. that, that everyone's getting a little more tired a little quicker. Yeah, a little more grumpy. A little grumpier. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Colin. Okay.